Next to drawing ellipses, drawing cylinders is one of the most important skills car designers need to have. A cylinder is essentially two ellipses connected together. One of the best ways to set up a cylinder is to first draw your box. This time we're going to draw a box that is fairly tall and narrow, equal in length and width, but much taller in height. You can see we're still drawing our vanishing points, but they're running off the page. And what this box does is it sets up the correct dimensions for our ellipses. As you can see, the top ellipse is a little bit more closed and the bottom ellipse is a little bit more open. What we're doing now is we're drawing that same rectangular object but laid over on its side. As you can see, the face of that object is setting up our ellipses again. The ellipse that's closest to us is more foreshortened and the one that's farther away is more open. Now ellipses have what is called a major axis and a minor axis. The major axis is the longest part of the ellipse and the minor axis is the shortest part of the ellipse. And they're always 90 degrees apart from each other. So no matter what orientation your ellipse is, that major axis and that minor axis are 90 degrees. And that's very, very, very important to remember. Ninety degrees. So here we are again. We're going to draw our elongated box. And you'll see exactly how to set up ellipses in relation to each other. We draw through the form, draw an X through each end of the box. What that does is sets up the centers of your ellipses. The next thing we'll draw is the major axis of the ellipse. And once again, major axis is the longest part of the ellipse and the minor axis is the shortest part of the ellipse. And they're always 90 degrees apart from each other. So we're gonna draw that major axis 90 degrees from where those centers are. So now we have everything we need to set up the correct width, length, and orientation of each of these ellipses. So you can imagine what this is. This could be a set of wheels on either side of the car. So your assignment is to practice drawing cylinders in multiple perspectives, multiple views, always keeping the top and bottom of those cylinders 90 degrees from the axis. As you get better, you'll see you don't need to draw the box every time, but it really does help to set things up. You can draw shorter cylinders. That might represent a single tire. Just keep practicing. This is probably the single most important skill any car designer needs to have. And you'll see as we begin to draw entire vehicles how all of this comes together.